So this afternoon we are down in Memorial Park. Uh, this is, serves as a living laboratory for students at the university. We do research and education events here. And today we're going to do a prescribed burn of Roundtree Prairie. Um, we're doing a fall burn this time for two reasons. One, we're doing a research project looking at fall burns on killing brush. And this is part of a project that we're doing with the Department of Natural Resources in Wisconsin together with Edgewood College as well. Um, but we're also trying to change the prairie a little bit. Right now, this section of the prairie and the middle section is heavily dominated by big blue stem, which is a grass and it is often found in prairies, but it has the ability to take over and just make a monoculture of big blue stem. And so if we do a burn in the fall, we actually kill off one year seed crop. And in that way, the big blue stem is not as dominant the following year. And so our hopes is that we can increase the diversity of the prairie a little bit and kind of uh, decrease the amount of big blue stem so it doesn't just take over and we have a purely big blue stem prairie. And that's really what we're trying to achieve with a fall burn today. Hi, my name is Amanda Prine. I'm with the Reclamation Environment and Conservation Program. I am also a certified FFT2 firefighter, which is basically a wildland firefighter that can do prescribed burns. Um, I am working on a research project with an independent study this semester with Dr. Yari Johnson and we're monitoring the effects of prescribed fire on woody species. So I have um, some data loggers buried in the ground that is going to take temperatures of the fire intensities to find out how intense we need to get fire to take care of some of the woody species out there.